Today we're going to tie a daddy long legs or a crane fly using new daddy wings from Real Wings. To tie this fly you're going to need a size 12 long shank hook, brown flat silk, an extended body, in this case I've used X-Fly's tube bodies. Um, you'll need a furnace hackle, some hopper legs which are knotted pheasant tail fibres, some hard as nails clear varnish and some daddy wings from realwings.co.uk okay I'm going to start by turning in some brown flat thread let's trim it off and I'm going to take this all the way to the end of the shank just before the curve of the hook. And then I'm going to bring it back. Leave it roughly a quarter of a centimetre from the end. Okay, I'm just going to apply some hard as nails uh, varnish, nail varnish from Sally Hansen, and that is just to make sure that the thread won't come undone, as this is going to be bare to the trout's teeth. Leave that to dry. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes, and the nail varnish is now dried rock solid. I'm going to apply the, the hopper legs. Now you can get these pre-made. and I've been a bit lazy here and I've ordered in the packet of pre-knotted legs. But what I like about the pre-knotted ones is that they come as double fibres. Which means that you get a thicker leg. Okay, I've tied in the two back legs and I've left those slightly longer and I'm going to put in two shorter legs that just come off either side I'm just going to turn those in just adjust them and make sure they sit down I'm not going to chop the ends off. I'm going to leave those because we're going to use them towards the end of the fly as the wing casing. Okay, so here's my extended body. I've actually used a tube bodies. It's an X flies. I think Rainy's X flies. Um, and what I've done is they come as Mayfly bodies, but I've just cut the tails off and then what I do is I slice a little way up and what that does is allow the body to sit on the hook a bit better so I just open it up a bit and I'm just pressing it down so that the slice that I've made enables the hook to go into the body and then I'm just going to tie that in brought back the excess fibres so that I can uh, get them in place ready for folding them over the, uh, as the wing casing later. Ok so I'm now going to tie in my hackle.
three or four turns in. It's going to go around once, twice. Each time I go around, I brush the hackle fibers back so they don't overlay. I secure that in. Okay, I'm going to pull it all back and just neaten that off. Just get rid of the excess. Right. You just part the hackle either side, brush it down with your fingertips and try and get it to, to stay flat either side of the shank of the hook. And this is so that when we tie in the wings that the wings can lay nice and flat and it makes it easier. Get the thread to where I want to tie the wings in. Just making sure that all of those hopper leg fibres are ready for me to bring back over and lasso the wings. Okay, so here are the Daddy Long Legs wings. And they come in a pack of 10 from my website, realwings.co.uk. And they look like this. And there's a nice little tab there that helps you tie them in. So what you do is you now lay this on top of the parted hackle fibres. My fingers are a bit sticky. I'll keep sticking to it. Okay, and then you just turn it in using the plastic tab. And you'll see, there we go, caught it in. And just a couple of times round. Now I'm going to push the wings down flat and bring the excess fibres from the pheasant tail hopper legs over the top and that lays the wings down flat and it creates a lovely looking wing casing. I'm just going to tie those down at the front. I'm going to lift them up and then tie underneath. Bring it right up to the eye of the hook. Okay, and then once more around the back just to make sure that it lay, lays flat and doesn't give me any excess burrs. And snip those off. You can just pulling the wings and the fibres of the hackle back just so that I can make a nice looking head. Just wind the flat silk round until you've got a head the right size that you want. And I'm just going to hitch in there. Pull that nice and tight. Secure it. Snip it off. It just needs me to put some varnish on the head to make sure that doesn't come undone. So I'll apply some onto the head but also I put a dab on to where I took the fibres over just to create a rock solid wing casing. Just a little bit underneath. Pull off the excess. Fluff it up a bit and part the legs, make it look presentable. Make sure the legs are all free and not tangled up. And there you have it. Daddy long legs or crane fly using daddy wings from realwings.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching.